Hi, I'm Julie Weber of Liberate Ministries. I have a few statistics that I have pulled from a website called Worldometers. Um, you can find the website information for this citation attached to the video. Out of a current world population of 7.4 billion people, there happens to be 40 to 50 million abortions happening worldwide each year. That's a lot. 40 to 50 million abortions. Well, out of 7.4 billion people, why aren't larger numbers of people coming forth for healing? You know, three reasons that I have experienced could be why they aren't is number one, they don't care. Number two, fear of facing God. And number three, many don't know that they need healing. Well, let's talk about this. So number one, possible reasons why they don't care. Some are hopeless. They have been living in unbearable circumstances. Or they were involved in an abortion situation where they lost their rights to the child's life by the choices that they made. Or some are in denial. They have deeply suppressed their feelings. Two, possible reasons why they fear facing God. Some people don't think they deserve to live because they took their child's life and God is angry with them. Some don't think that they could be forgiven or they could forgive others and forgive themselves. Some don't understand how God would allow this to happen to them. Number three, other possible reasons are many don't even know that they need healing. I have a list of questions for you and um, to help you see if you might need healing. 17 years ago, someone else asked me some questions before I knew that I needed help. Okay. So I have some of these questions and I'm going to read them to you a little bit here. Here we go. Even now, do you still have thoughts in the, related to your abortion? When thoughts come up, do you tell yourself to quit thinking about them and remind yourself to move on? Have you had thoughts of suicide? When you share your abortion experience with others, do you become angry, filled with guilt, shame, or sadness? Did you or are you going through a period of drug or alcohol use to numb that pain? Do you look at yourself the same way now that you've had an abortion? Is your abortion secret keeping you from forming close relationships for fear that they will reject you if they find out? How has your relationship with God changed after the abortion? Was your involvement in an abortion experience caused you to regret some of the decisions that you made at the time? Well, I have a scripture for you. 
It is actually on the back of my Lady Liberty book, and I have it there. It's a great scripture. Um, it's actually Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. This scripture clearly shows that your situation isn't hopeless to God. And he isn't angry with you. In conclusion, reasons why people are not coming forth for healing, many are hopeless and don't care because of their unbearable living situations or living in denial or have lost their rights to the child's life by choices they made. People are not coming forth for healing because they are also fear facing God. Some don't think that they deserve to live because they took their child's life and God is angry with them. They don't think they could be forgiven or they could forgive others and themselves. People are also not coming forth for healing because many don't know they need healing. I read a list of questions to you. After reviewing the list of those questions, and if you can identify with some of them, you probably should consider working through a program. Well, I'd like to invite you to pray with me. Dear God, help me to know what the next step in life should be. Please give me the courage that I will need to do it. Amen. Thanks for watching. Live life liberated.